I didn't get all the water out of this solar panel last fall and a little bit of the water froze in the winter and burst the pipe right there. Now I need to take that section out and replace it. Pieces of a Venetian blind. So they're aluminum. So I glued those on. These I believe I soldered on. It's all copper pipe though. And copper pipe makes a good solar panel. Probably four, five years old. And usually I have my drain right over there and it drains it out pretty well. And I don't have any problems. I'm convinced that solar power is the best way to heat a pool. You just put it on a timer, hook it up to the circulation pump, and let the sun give its warmth to your water. And an occasional maintenance job like this is worth it to me. Through trial and error, I've learned a lot about heating pools with renewables over the years. I'll share with you my mistakes so you can avoid them. Check out the end screens for a video on my wood fired pool heater and how to heat your pool with the sun. While I got this thing open, I'm going to slide in a layer of black tar paper to collect more heat. If I were doing this again, I'd make the inside totally black. But this tar paper will be an easy upgrade. Ta da! Now that is going to be nice my new parallel system so the water comes in here and gets diverted one it goes into this one and the other one it goes down into that one and then it comes out of here and meets up with the one that's coming out of there and then it goes down here flush in the system get all that solder out and you got all this water nice and warm to go into the pool I make my solar panels with salvaged glass. I like this piece of glass because it's big, but it is way too heavy and it's not tempered, which makes it really dangerous. I would never use this kind of thick, heavy glass again. I only use thin safety Thanks. glass to make solar panels these days. This panel still works good, so I'm gonna use it. Uh -huh.